Hello and good evening everybody, today from the Nail Talk Live studio and I am your host for this evening because Pepine is a little bit ill so I will be guiding you through this evening of course with my dear colleague Jessica but before we're going to get in this all because already Monday she did a nice show with gel polish a little advanced and today it's more like easy Jessica terms easy you know okay but before we go we go into all of that I have to say let's get started Oh, really nice. I'm feeling so very much excited for this evening because also uh, the art, of course, of Jessica, but we are very good friends, actually, also. And that's why it's really nice to do this together. And what I already mentioned, uh, Jessica did uh, last Monday, she did a nice, well, a more um, advanced gel polish art. And today it's going to be a little bit more easy. But I think she has to tell it yourself, right, Jessica? Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, uh, Deborah. Hi, everyone. So nice that you are watching and welcome uh, to this show this evening. And tonight I'm going to uh, show you all um, gel polish nail art, but with the basic, yeah, like Deborah says. Um, yeah, I really like, love being here and I am um, really excited to show you all because yeah, gel polish, boy, you can do a lot with gel polish. So... I cannot show you all, of course, but I can show you a whole bunch of things that I've made already. And I'm going to tell you um, about this show. Yeah, okay. So shall I uh, start with the first design, Deborah? Well, I think you should, Jessica. Yeah. And I already saw what you prepared for us, and it's a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a whole lot. So it's a bunch of beautiful materials she has on her table. So we really have to get, get started, because otherwise, well, we'll be here a whole night. So... Let's go to you, Jess. Yeah, maybe a couple of weeks even. <laughs> okay, well, the first design, well, gel polish is, of course, um, a, a color that you can give uh, to your nails, but you can paint with those colors too. So that is the easy, most easy thing to do with gel polish. So I will show you a quick print um, that I've done back in the days uh, on my clients too. And I really love to make uh, these kind of prints because they are fast and really salon work uh, art. So let's get started. Okay, for the background, I have chosen a light pink color and this is the color elegant pink. And I have taken a couple of drops of gel polishes on my paper palette. So this is the elegant pink um, as the background is. This is the beautiful color You Are Hot, and next to it, a tiny drop of Black is Black. I'm going to paint with my dotting tool, and you may see that this one layer of uh, pink uh, isn't as shiny as it's supposed to be because I have removed the sticky layer, just because I can show you even better what I'm doing. I am painting little spots, like an army print. So with my dotting tool, not thinking, just adding spots of the same color of pink. If you are afraid to do this in one time, you can of course flash cure in between and move to the second layer. It is really important um, that you do not work too thick because otherwise you get um, problems with curing. With curing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Deborah. Of course, dear. I have prepared a whole lot of steps in between, so I am moving this one into my light mm -hmm. for 30 seconds. But I already prepared this step, and this is how it is when okay. it's cured. That's very nice already, already, because you can see the color is extra more into depth now. Yeah, and now you can see even better the shadow eh, mm -hmm. for the first steps. So now I am going to that really bright poppy color, the You Are Hot Pink. And I'm adding again, in between the first spots, this bright color. Of course, now I am using pink because that one was on the product list that I have um, made before, but you can use every kind of coloring. And I really love the green, like the military colors. Yeah. Green and brown or whatever you like. A little yellow, maybe vanilla yeah, color. Yeah, that's even cool really too. Really cool. Yeah, of course. 
Oh, you got a good laugh from Robin. Uh, thank you. Oh, My husband hubby. is looking as well. Well, and everyone again. is asking. Mm -hmm. Easy, Jessica, easy. Yeah, I know, mm -hmm. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me, easy. Well, yeah, I, I think this is easy. Oh, of course, of the first step Ooh. that you want uh, to make uh, and use your gel polish is to use the sticky layer of your gel polish to put in just flakes or um, yeah, glitter or um, foil and put a top gel over mm -hmm. and you have the first step of a nail art, of course. Which is an easy design, of course. Which right? is an easy And design. fast. Actually, you don't need to do a lot of steps to get an easy and no. fast design. So, my UR hotspots also been in the lights, uh, in the twin light for 30 seconds and now let's go on to the last and final color, the blackest black. And now you can see even more the depth and now it's just a sketch that you need to fill up uh, for the first layer and put in that beautiful black. But you need the black in this design. You really need the black. Yeah, or in I every agree. design. I when agree. I'm talking to you, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I love black. You do? But people think I only love black and that's it. But I love black because poppy colors, bright colors like these, really pop next to black. That's why I love black. Every color looks nice to black. Next to black. Also, black looks nice to black. I agree, I agree. <laughs> okay, really cool. I'm already looking, but everyone is just like, oh watching to you so well and they're very curious what you're going to make so ah that's nice to hear and if there are any questions please ask don't hesitate you can and ask we it will all. help you <laughs> looks like the combat nail art from jessica pop bear well it is actually it is only it in is different only colors different color so maybe over here like it already i love it too yeah <laughs> so when you are finished and all of your spots are in, you need to um, take your fully curing time of 30 seconds with the black maybe even a little bit longer. And then you can um, give it a top gel, cap the uh, design. Of course you are um, painting, so you go a little bit like giving bumps huh, because of the, the height of the gel polishes spots. I always um, give two layers of top gel. First, a flexible top gel, like the base and top. And then in this case, I have chosen the extreme matte top gel. And then your surface, your design looks like this. And I really love matte. Matte as an uh, end result. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Really nice. And it's really cool to wear this in a set next to black, of course. I, I wanted to say, so yeah. these two in the middle, <laughs> right? Yes. Next to black, <laughs> but shiny. And of course, the black is black is beautiful, and we have a beautiful top gel, uh, the true color top gel with no sticky layer, but leaving the color as it is in its beautifulness, like the black is black is. Yeah, it is. It really is nice. Of course, I already said and told about um, this combination, which I love mm -hmm. and I would wear. But it's the same technique, but different colors. I love the pink of oh the pink. I'm sorry, the, the green dots on top. Yeah, I do too. That's this nice. is also a gel polish the, um, from the beautiful collection, the Summer Cocktails. Oh, so yeah, nice. and um, put on the top the Extreme Matte, and on top of that Extreme Matte, I've added Supreme Finish to uh, give more height to those spots of that beautiful green color. Cool, huh? Hmm. Do you like it? I love it. I more than like it. Um, of course, this is just painting with gel polish. And I have um, taken a whole bunch of my babies, I call them babies, uh, from home with me to show you what else you could do by painting just with gel polish. So maybe you want to make a screenshot of this design and then I will move on to the next. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. And then I have one question for you after that one. Yes, of course. Of course. So first let's do the screenshot of this one then. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the pink next to them yeah, as well. Yeah, do it. Yes, of course. Like because this? Because it's really nice. Okay. okay yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. We are not Pepine. So we no. will not Go sing as beautiful, high. can sing as beautiful as he does. No. So we just give you the time to take a screenshot. In three. Two and one. Yay! Shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A very gentle one, otherwise people call us frogs again, like last time, you know? Yeah. 
Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so I have a little question yes. from Gemma. Yeah. She uh, says, I always cure my uh, darker well, colors and pigments for uh, one and a half minutes. Or isn't it always necessary, Jessica? It is wise to do so. Yeah, Gemma. Yeah. Exactly. Um, of course, uh, I use the 30 seconds, but just to be sure uh, that it's fully cured, uh, please take 60 or maybe one and a half uh, minutes. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you go into the really highly pigmented yeah. colors and like the then blackies. also on the black ones, mm -hmm. then you really need to go to the one and a half minute of curing time. So because it's really important to make it tight because otherwise you get that souffle effect and you don't want that. No. And uh, Joanna, um, I'm sorry for the name, um, Fikanska says, it's you so cute military Barbie pink. Yeah, it is. And especially when you have the Barbie movie and all, so it's really nice. But I love yeah. it, uh, actually. And maybe it kind of like a badass uh, design for going on next to a Valentine, maybe. Ooh, so yeah. it's pinky, but it is kind of rock, edgy, soft. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad that you all like it. Um, let's go to the top shot and I will tell you and show you. So these Ooh. are all designs like nice and bright and poppy, but all made with gel polishes. I will add a little bit more. Really sharp, Jess. Cool, huh? Yeah, they are. So these kind of designs as well. Do you I want me to zoom it out a bit? Mm, I can I can manage yeah. just to put it over here like this, mm, over here maybe, and then these two are really cool. Ah, oh, so nice. I like the most right one, like the animal effect. Ah, know? we the love colors. animal colors, eh? Yeah, we do, we do, we do, we do. And you can also uh, make swirls with just your gel polish. And this is easy, right? Yeah, it's it's doable, and it's really like a couple of minutes of time extra to give your own signature uh, to your designs, oh. to your clients. Oh, that green is... Oh, is that with the cash, right? This is the cash. I love so that. So cool. And again, gel polishes uh, on the glitter cash. Also gives me like a candy cane effect. Yeah, it does. In but again, way. a bit uh, kind of edgy. Yeah, of course. Yeah. A little rough. Yeah. But so cool. Well, should we do a screenshot, although it's not really in the center with everything? No, no, no. Shall I just zoom it a little bit out for or you? Maybe like this, Deborah? How do you well, make it like Well, my this? dear, I think that's also a good yeah? plan. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Well, then we're going to do a screenshot for yes. you in three and two and screenshot. <laughs> very gentle, <laughs> very gentle. I'm the second voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. All right. I'm just watching all over it and nothing yet. Any so questions? No questions yet? No, not no. yet. Um, if check, check, check. Let's check, check, check. Uh, hello. Okay, no, not really, no. Everyone is like really nice and looking at your uh, beautiful poppy color, Jess. She's very close to me, so I can only do like this and I can already see her. Actually, if I lo look a little bit over my left shoulder, I can see what she's painting so it's really awesome sometimes when i'm drawing away like this sorry because it's really nice what she's doing there um well no everyone getting boot guy boot camp vibes again oh my god anya van s she's what's with you i think jess right for the boot camp you yeah 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 uh, the boot camp uh, anya is uh, telling uh, about the boot camp that i did uh, for the dutch version of uh, nail talk live um, back in the summer i did four uh, workshops hand painting workshops and again those one of those designs were from the boot camp uh, boot camp um, hand painting designs and just following up maybe interesting for you to see of course, you cannot speak uh, or hear, understand the Dutch language, but maybe with a translation, uh, you can well, you can uh, get a, ho a lot uh, about that bootcamp and explaining me the tips and tricks how to uh, use uh, your hand and your brushes uh, to make thin lines, thicker lines. Maybe interesting. Yeah, of course, and it was a whole lot of fun to do. I have a little question from Pranilla Grants. I think I know the answer, but I'm going to let you answer it, Jessica. Yeah. What is your favorite? Nail art brush. Is that either a, a trick question? I or think what? so. <laughs> I think so. Yes. What do you think? <laughs> it's made out of my own hair. No, that's a that's a joke. <laughs> of course, Jessica's choice. I love Jessica's choice um, because of the hair and the synthetic uh, brush that it is. I really love to paint with it. 
and uh, not because it is named after me, but just I really love that brush. A little bit because it was named after you. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> no, I really love <laughs> I love this brush. But also all the other brushes, uh, the choice brushes, of course, I love to work with. But I'm really into this length of the brush that my brush has. Yeah, <laughs> uh, me too. I love it too. I have the same with the smaller brushes. And then you have the detail of three. There's nothing in between. It's like the smaller brushes, Jessica's Choice, or uh, those brushes. And then you have detail of three. That's like, we l that's something we I think we both love the most. So it's really cool. Yeah. Uh. But you do a lot with Pepin's Choice as well, yeah. don't you, Deborah? Yeah. 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 True. yeah. yeah. But I think that's because I'm most of the times I make longer nails. I think that's the thing. That's yeah. why I use Pepin's Choice for the longer quite lines. A lot. Yeah, yeah, for the long lines. Smart. That yeah. is smart. But also, when I make shorter designs, I use the tip of Pepin's Choice. So I don't know why, but uh, yeah, that's when you feel you have that feeling with that brush. So that's what I have with Pepin's Choice and just with Jessica's Choice, and that's when we go on and go on and go on. Of course, I'm checking. I'm checking. I'm checking. Um. Okay, I already answered this one. Okay, well, then we have to go uh, continue to you, Jessica. All right. I was just scrolling uh, down every uh, on the on the page, like for every question. Same, same, yeah. same. All right. The next design. Of course, I have already told you a little bit about using that sticky layer of uh, your gel polishes but using, adding extra shizzle. I really love the neon pigments. And I'm going to show you uh, a design and I'm making my lines with white as white gel polish and then adding, giving some color to those white lines on my black, of course. So my surface is uh, the black is black gel polish, two layers, and you see that it's a bit scratchy. Yeah. That's because I buffed the surface. Why? With because your white I'm block? With a white block, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I need to remove after my uh, neon pigments better. And this is the way, so this is prep and wipe uh, to remove it better. Because I <laughs> just want my neon pigments on the white lines that I'm going to paint and not on the black. Of course, you could use, uh, you could even make, give a little layer in between, like the true color top gel, just a thin layer. Um, and then afterwards, you can remove the pigments as well because then the surface is shiny and um, well how do you how do you say it shiny soft yeah easy to remove yeah yeah I'm searching smooth. for a word smooth thank you Deborah I was searching for a word okay so I am going to paint with my favorite brush ever <laughs> <laughs> yes it <laughs> choice you won't say I would say <laughs> And I'm just putting it in the center. Jessica's choice on my brush. And I'm giving a big dot. Like mm. this. I'm removing excessive product from my brush and I'm using this dot by pressing down and making my line a little bit wider. And of course, um, it is really important that your line is not too high because you need to cover and uh, protect your uh, neon pigments later. And then you would add have to add um, maybe three layers of top gel mm -hmm. to get an even surface. Uh, Millie Raquel de Hansen asks, is, uh, are pigments easy to remove on a matte top gel after you're ready with your design? Well, um, the matte top gel does not have a sticky layer, but if you do not go over that non-sticky layer with prep and wipe, um, you will see after curing um, this and adding uh, pigments but removing... Um, Some veil, right? Uh, yeah, kind of like a veil of neon pigments. So really remove that non-sticky layer of that extreme mud with prep and wipe, and then you are good to go. Yeah. All right, great, thank you. Okay, again, adding a dot, removing excessive product from my brush, and using this dot to, well, kind of like just copying uh, this uh, first line mm -hmm. that I've made. 
We are joined by a lot of countries, dear Jess. It's oh, we really are? really cool, yeah. If you oh. can see all these translations going through the screen, so it's nice. so awesome. So nice that you are all watching. And we will have fun tonight, girls. We do, we do already. If I can all see all these colors in the right corner of my eye, it's like puff. It's like summer yeah. in my eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going so to be a cool. really awesome design. So cool. So I will just add one more plop, plop, plop. And you like see Like this, 30 you seconds curing time. The pigment is so good that it stays really nice on the black. It doesn't shine through, it's just one layer and it's there. It's really good, really nice, Jess. Mm -hmm. You can really see the pigments. <coughs> all right, all right, all right. So neon pigments are pure pigments. So you can mix those pure pigments through any product that you would love to uh, cure them or uh, put them in. Like for instance, if you have your uh, gel polish that you want a little bit more brighter orange or brighter yellow, add a little bit of those beautiful yellow uh, mm -hmm. uh, pigments. Really love it. Um, you can add it even um, through power gel or whatever because they are pure pigments. But now I am using to stick those pigments on top of the sticky layer of my whitest white. Okay, I am going to use a magic pigment brush. Just filling up that pure bright yellow pigment. And now I'm going on top because I want to work nice and neatly and not chaotic like <laughs> normal creative uh -huh. people yeah. do. I know you're like watching me now. You, you know me. Mm -hmm. This is normally, well, you know a lot <laughs> about uh, those neon pigment Deborah. I do. She loves to. It's really nice that I'm here when you work <laughs> with pigments. <laughs> Just tapping, tap, tap, tap. Just a little nice bit to the center, Jesse. Grazie. Nice and soft. A little bit over my yellow, maybe. Like this. So now I'm going back to my lights. Ooh. If you don't have a white as white gel polish, can you also use a fiber coat white in this design, uh, Jess? Mm, yes, you could, but fiber coat is of course a little bit thicker yeah. huh, than uh, uh, gel polish is. So you really need to uh, pay close attention at how high your line is going to be. It's not uh, bad that it is, but what I would do if you use uh, fiber white, just make your lines, make them badass with those neon pigments sticking on top. Um, but then I would maybe cover it with extreme mats, mm -hmm. and then I would go with those bulky lines because you have a height difference yeah. uh, with supreme finish. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, it's possible. And fiber is really sticky, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But you can also use, of course, the liner white and mix that a little bit with base on top. Of and course. you also have a sticky layer, and it's still uh, quite thin. So you can also do that. Not so much of the base on top, of course, because otherwise your white will be transparent. But if you do a little bit, then you still have the sticky layer to put your pigments in. So that's also a thing you can use for this, of course. So, okay, yes, let's back to you. Okay, so now let's remove those beautiful pigments. And then you see a really cool, nice and bright, like a zebra. -ish. Like Jamaica. Huh? Yeah. This brings me to Jamaica like this. Of course. I will not um, bore you by adding top gels and everything. I, of course, made this in advance. So this is the end result. Ah, so cool. And I've added just a little bit of base on top. Um, on top of there. 30 seconds curing time and use that sticky layer to add a little, little bit of gold foil. I really love this gold foil, and we Shame. have 12 different colors in a kit right now. So really cool, uh, different variations, and Ooh. of course... Oh, that's cool. Is that a stamp? No, Deborah, no. it is not a stamp. But we have love I know. in the stamp. Yeah. I know. No, this is hand painting. Really nice. Yeah, just to show off. Huh? Yeah, no. of course, <laughs> to make it easy, right? <laughs> to make it easy. <laughs> well, I really love it like this. But of course, you could use and wear just like this. It's really fun uh, to do these designs, and it's really fast. Yeah, of course. But I needed to show off. You are right, did you? It were your words, not mine. No. <laughs> but really cool. This is really nice. So we have to do a screenshot. Oh, Jaap is saying, looks like the magnetic logo. Does it? Yeah, mm. Miss Meneer. <laughs> Does the it? I, I do not see it. 
Oh, uh, oh that's cool. Okay, a screenshot maybe, yeah, girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to. Maybe in center, huh? Yeah, please. Like this. All right. All right. I will count down. Yeah. And you will do the, uh, the, the thing, you know? Y yeah, okay. Yeah, then okay. you will do the other thing. Huh? Yeah, okay, we okay, do okay, both okay. do things. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, Let's mm -hmm. count down. Yeah. Two, three, yeah. and two, and... Screenshot! Oh, it's getting better, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's our nice. Our voices yeah. are getting warmed up, so yeah. it's getting yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I have uh, brought a whole lot of babies uh, with me wearing some beautiful neon pigments, and I really want uh, to show you those as well. So I'm removing these and giving you a little bit of pleasure Ooh. just by looking at these designs I have made. With neon pigments. So cool. And of course, these designs are already uh, a little bit old, but really love to make nah. these designs. It's never old, and all old is coming back, right? Yeah, that's true, that's true. So this is the same technique as, as I showed yeah. you, but then I've made the, um, yeah, the buttock curls, mm -hmm. uh, sticking those neon pigments onto them. This is the fast liner gel that we have. Yeah, like the graffiti art. Yeah, yeah. Really so fast cool. and easy salon art. So these are uh, the sticky layer of the whitest white gel polish full cover, uh, giving an ombre neon pigments. And yeah, really cool. Yeah, neon. and the last one is with the removing of the pigment, right? This one? Yeah, the white one. Um, oh, the white one, the lowest one. This, yeah, yeah, removing of the pigments. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so cool. But I think uh, we have to do a screenshot, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we should. We yeah? should. Okay. okay. Count down again, then. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Okay. In three and two and... Screen screenshot! <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all really right, nice. Girls. But after all this heavy stuff there, mm -hmm. we have to do a little bit of the homework, of course, because it's really important that you guys know what to do to get a beautiful price, of course. Well, what you need to do for the homework assignment is use one of the shown techniques in this evening to make your own set of nails or on color pops, of course. So you can do it on your hand or on a color pop. So, but it has to be a set. Um, does the set need to be a complete set with the same, well, li line, Jess, or need does it need to be a little different from each other? I would love to see how you would um, make uh, use uh, this uh, technique, one of the techniques that I'm showing tonight, um, how you would um, make it into a set. So I really would love to see a set that is perfectly matched together. Mm -hmm. So okay. maybe just black next to it, but I really love to uh, use one color that I've made of the art and give that color to a finger uh, laying next to it. So, for instance, the neon pigments, really cool next to black. But, of course, that neon pink on one other finger, that's really cool. Just a, a, a gel polish then, I mean. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I really would love to see how you would make it into a set. And a set is five in your matter? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. But, yeah. of course, there are some rules for that. But if you want to compete with this, it really is nice. You have two weeks of time to upload your homework. homework, And our deadline is the 14th of February, which is Valentine's Day, of course. Really nice, too. Um, upload your homework and using the link that you can find in the album Gel Polish Art Basics. Um, and actually, if you have some improvements that you need to do, Jessica herself will contact you and you will get another chance to participate in this one. So it's really cool. Uh, do not forget, uh, forget to submit your step-by-step, -step, not more than four pictures uh, together and one final picture showing all your homework. So then you have the complete set in steps, but then one complete set, but which is the end result. So then you have the beautiful end result in one photo. No movies, only pictures. So one photo of the beautiful end result. And then what can you win? Because, oh, 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 oh. This Don't you just love yeah, this? Yeah, the summer cocktail collection. I it's think happiness. It, it is. Happiness in bottles. Not uh -huh. in a bottle, but in bottles. All of them are muchos awesome. Because we have different languages, I thought just throwing in some languages. <laughs> really <laughs> cool, really Very cool. Very good, Deborah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And we cannot live without these colors, mm -mm. like this one and also the pop art collection. It's like the, these collections are amazing. I agree. So cool, so cool. But that's for now. Uh, of course, I have to say next month we have 
a new, ah, of course we're going this, a new, a new power gel discount, and which is 20% off from starting tomorrow, and then for the rest of the month, of course. For this evening, it's the last, and then you can only shop with 20% discount until 12 o'clock tonight. So I don't know uh, your country based, depending on the hours, but till 12 o'clock tonight, it will stop, and then we're continuing with the power gel. So which is really, really, really the last well, the last couple of hours to get your 20% discount for the gel polish. That's really nice. And then we go to next month, because then we have some other workshops, of course. We're starting on the 7th of February with Henriette, and she's going to do her Insta Famous, which will be really cool, I think. And then our Valentine angel, Sarisa, is <laughs> going to show <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is going to show us a beautiful power gel baby boom. Well, is there one person who can do it better? I don't think so. And we're going a little further, the next week after, the 21st of February, uh, will be Natalia, and she is going to show us a Power Gel Elegance Nail Inlay. Wow, mm. what will that be? Already curious about that, uh, Natalia? I think that will be cool. And then we have one week later, the last... Well, this is a special year, because February has one day extra, so actually... It will be the last Wednesday of February, the 28th, and it will be Demi. And Demi Arts will show us a refill of Baby Boom with some reshaping. So she's going to make the refill a new nail. Perfect. That will be so cool. So cool. So cool. Well, I think then, Yassi, we have to go back to you for now. Ah, oh yeah, because I have another design to show you. And I was looking uh, um, on the page, um, all of the uh, questions that people have. Is it five fingers or ten? No, just five fingers. You can do it on the hand of your model, of yourself. It doesn't matter. Even on Colourpops, everything uh, goes. Everything is possible and, um, and you can just have fun. Of course, you can make more. I, I love to see more, of course. But the assignment is five nails, please. All right, next, next up. Uh, gel polishes are um, really cool, highly pigmented, but you can sugar um, in gel polish lines as well. So now I have made already uh, a background for you. The black is black gel polish, and on top, over that beautiful black, uh, the true color top gel. I am in love with this top gel. So it's really nice and shiny. It doesn't have a sticky layer, and my black is beautiful black. If I would have um, put one layer of the Supreme Finish Top Gel, of course my black would be, because of the UV blocker into inside of it, uh, a little bit bluish. It should be on a tile. My black is beautiful black. Beautiful black, yeah. That really sounds it nice. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I love that, yeah. I won't, I'm going to, yeah. Beautiful black. Yeah. All right, even as beautiful as it is now, it needs a little bit of color. Don't you agree? So you uh, already made um, some uh, nail huh, that you have seen, Deborah. Mm -hmm. Is that the cash? Yeah, I am going to use that beautiful color Ooh. cash now. The glitter or the regular? Mm, no, the regular because I will add some glitter into this regular color. Okay, again, I am going to paint with Jessica's Choice. And I am going to add um, swirls, but kind of like a, mm, well, not really smooth curls. Well, let's see, let's see. I will show you. All right. The beautiful color cash. A little drop on the outside of my brush. I'm giving a little kiss by putting that <laughs> drop onto my black surface. And now I am swirling away. Well, everyone is very curious as what is going to be, Jess. Uh, it's just a little um, like a swirl, but then a, a little, little rough. bit curly, more rough. Mm -hmm. And I really love a ton sur ton. Do, does everybody know what ton sur ton is? Yeah. Um, like colors that really match, like in the same color range. Like with this darker green, I would love a brighter green and even kind of like a pastel green. That is ton sur ton. You removed the sticky layer of the black, right? And put on a top coat? 
This is the true color top yeah. gel on top, yeah. which does not have a sticky layer. No, it's a question of Sabine. Yeah. All right. Now I am adding, and I really am trying to work as neat as I can. So we <laughs> have beautiful mermaid sprays in a bottle, which you can spray. But on camera, I do not like it. So I am just like this, adding some glitter. Uh, Sabine says, ton sur ton is French. <laughs> it is Sabine. Do I pronounce it correctly, my dear friend? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just adding, switching for the camera. Ooh. 30 seconds curing time. Yeah, also for this color. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, because later on you will um, add a little bit more. And uh, you cure 30 again. 30 seconds and uh, really be careful. Really uh, um, look at it that it's really not thick. So not bulky lines because then you have uh, trouble uh, curing. So it needs to be flat. All right, now I need to remove it like neatly. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> like really soft. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, it's like a snake. Like this. A yeah, glitter snake. like a green snake. But I love that it's another snake next to the other snake. So ah. I've added one swirl oh, more. Oh, that's lovely. So the mermaid spray that I've used is the red gold. We have different colors. Uh, I really love the red gold uh, when you are working with the pinky. Uh, colors, but you see on top of the green, it's really cool too. So, okay, as I said, the ton sur ton, like in French, huh? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, oh. Sabine mm -hmm. says your French is perfect. Oh, so. thank you, yeah. thank you. <laughs> um, uh, next to this beautiful cash color, I have chosen the go green, and this is a really bright, lighter pink gel polish, which matches perfectly uh, with this green cash. So again, I'm adding and like following uh, the first swirls that I've uh, that I've made. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Mandy Stellingwerf comes as asking, it can also be done with the, the sea foam color green. Yeah, of course. Of it's course, uh, if you still have it, yeah. lucky you. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, giving a little kiss again to remove that <coughs> drop from my brush, and now removing excessive and oh. just. Following that first line, but please notice that there's a little black line in between. And now just following. Is that Martini? No, the Go Green. Oh, the Go Green. Yeah. But Martini would work as yeah, well. Yeah, same. Of course. But you don't have to see foam anymore, Jess. I do, oh. but it's not. Uh, no, I know. It's out of stock. I know, I know. So I cannot use it, of course, on clients, but yeah. not in designs like these. Seafoam would be really awesome. Okay. Now, of course, you could use, again, <laughs> that beautiful color. Um, mermaid, huh? Uh -huh. But I have chosen... Let me see. Yeah. I have chosen reinforcing powder. And you can sugar with reinforcing powder uh, or sugar look. Um, can or you also do it with acrylic powder. Of course, yeah, also, she was she was uh, <laughs> too fast for me. Of course, <laughs> you can use, of course, acrylic powders. Yeah, <laughs> so this is reinforcing powder. And uh, Joanna from Ireland uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, was here to do that beautiful ombres, eh, you guys. And oh, you that was really cool, yeah. That she uses the reinforcing powder too to make the ombres go easier for you. Yeah. But this is really cool and a really a cool um, effect next to the glitter. But I will show you. Again, 30 seconds. And now you have the curls. Oh, I will show you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Gil. <laughs> it was a black. Yeah, but it's black. So it was a black. So um, I've added one more um, swirl of the Go Green next to them. And you see the difference in between, like the sparkly, a little bit rougher, and then kind of like a veil, giving the feeling on those swirls uh, because of the reinforcing powder, which you would um, have 
Exactly, with the uh, uh, acrylic powders too, the clear. So it's really cool to play with that. What will be the difference between the reinforcing powder and the acryli acrylic powder? Not as much, not as much. No, it's kind of like um, like the softness as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not not so much. Yeah, yeah. same structure. So the sugar look is a little bit rougher. Yeah, it is. Like next to the glitter, I would add or this, the reinforcing powder or the uh, acrylic powder clear. Mm -hmm. All right. So really cool like this, don't you agree? But I liked a little bit more lighter green next to it, just to fill up some extra sparts, uh, parts in between yeah. onto the black. So of course you could go and search for a lighter green, but you can mix gel, gel polishes too together. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of my whitest white into that beautiful go green to get a pastel green. And I'm using that color to fill up my place, like in between, like over here maybe, just a little lighter. Can you see it? Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's almost a similar color. I will add, because of the camera, Yeah. I will add a little it's bit more light. white. This is more like light green. Yeah, okay. So just a little part, maybe over here a little bit. Not too much because we want that beautiful black, of course, showing in my end result as well. And I will go over this as well with my reinforcing powder. I'm just writing. Um, Alvira was asking, the second line is the cash green, right? Yes, it is. The darker green is the cash green. Mm -hmm. And she added in there the mermaid spray glitter. So it's really nice like that. Mm -hmm. And the other one was the go green. Mm -hmm. So also a little bit neonic effect. Yeah. Exacto mondo. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. Perfect. Of course, I have prepared this for you guys. So this is the end result that I have prepared, and maybe you have seen on social media, on Miltalk so Live, cool. and you have seen that this little green has a brother in yellow, Ooh. and maybe a sister in pink too. Uh. But the technique is, it's, is the same, <coughs> but just different colors. So the colors for these are the colors that I am going to work with, already worked with, are the lighter pink and the uh, You Are Hot. So the um, elegant pink, You Are Hot, and then the elegant Thanks. pink mixed to, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> mixed with white. So over here, the yellow, maybe um, everybody sees it already, uh, the ochre yellow is the darker yellow. And then I have used the champagne yellow, and the champagne it's yellow really nice. mixed with white to get the lighter pastel yellow. Gives you a giraffe effect. Yeah. I like right. it too. I would wear this. So is the sticky layer completely gone after you uh, have sugared all your designs? Yes, it is. But you need to really uh, make sure that your glitter or your reinforcing powder is really sunk in. Yeah. So you need, uh, if you see shine, then add more glitter. Yeah or add more reinforcing powder. If you see everything is dull and matte, uh, cure it. Yeah, yeah, that is really important. Good question. Yeah, otherwise it gets really dirty and your lines yeah. don't stay on as good as yeah. you want. So yeah, I agree. Just let it level in there, let it sink, let it sink, and then look into it and maybe do it again because then you're absolutely sure your lines will stay yeah. perfectly clean and well. Yeah, so awesome. And of course uh, you can, um, use not the gel polish, but our Cerisa Sweeties uh, or uh, the liner gels to um, add some uh, sugar effect, of course, because they're non-sticky, uh, they do not have a sticky layer, so it's more easy for you. But yeah, we have so much colors uh, of gel polish, so why not use them? Mm -hmm. And um, even on the lighter uh, colors, that are like the pastels, really make sure that everybody of everything is sink in so not uh, shiny anymore before curing and then even after four weeks your clients come back um, with a yellow like lip or a little heart or whatever you yeah. make mm -hmm. well Nadja says when you say champagne yellow it sounds so nice <laughs> yeah it does because yeah <laughs> again like champagne yeah. like champagne yellow yeah yeah it's yeah i really um yeah <laughs> Yeah. I love to say champagne yellow. Yeah. <laughs> and drink. <laughs> <too>. <laughs> Not yet, my <laughs> dear. Okay, okay. So again, uh, I've 
taken a couple of my babies uh, with sugar designs on them. So I will show you guys what I've taken from my home. Like already, really cool. Like the little lippies, sugar. Echo. I'm coming to you, my dear. And over here, you have seen uh, the, the lighter lips with the pastel. And again, all made with gel polishes. But of course, you can use Sarisa Sweeties uh, with reinforcing powder as this one. Oh, and really the goo. Mm -hmm. I love this. Those sparkles. This is far enough, sweetie. Yeah, it is. Like Thank this. you, my darling. Thanks. I really love this sparkle um, with the boxes of yeah, glitter. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can make some animal prints like this. Ooh. Really love, or like this. It's really kind of like the same. Awesome. Oh, maybe a screenshot, yeah. girls? Yeah. One at a time? Or both? Or too busy. One at a time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then first we will do this one. So cool. Okay, okay, okay. So, count we'll down. Count down again. Okay. Yeah. In three, two, screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's going to get better a moment by moment. So this is my fave ever. I love animal prints. Yeah. And the bright colors. You do too, huh, Deborah? Yes, definitely. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Three, two, two, one. Screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to zoom back in again. Oh. Okay, can you put something in the middle, my dear? Yes, of course. Maybe for our next design, like the yeah, little monkey. Yeah. Ooh, like this, girl. Like this or... <coughs> All right, so I'm going back to my spot again. Because, of course, I also have to go through the... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, people are asking where you put your uh, tips on, Jess. With what? Is it with the poster buddies, the things? Yeah, the print buddies. Uh, on top of the cards, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, with print buddy. Yeah. And the tips that I've used uh, like these are uh, just from the color pops. I removed the sticks uh, with a tip knipper. I still have a tip knipper just for this, <laughs> to remove this. And then just file um, to make it more round and more uh, beautiful. And then put my uh, poster buddy, print buddy, uh, underneath and um, well this is just um, a card um, again with the print body yeah yeah it's easy and mm -hmm. you can also remove it very easy and it stays very beautiful so that's also very easy if you want to take it to some fairs or to class you can remove it and put it back remove it and put it back all yeah. the time it's yeah. really easy it's really nice and stays clean so that's really handy uh, okay well we have to do something else, Jesse. Yeah, and I know what you will have to yeah, do. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we have not one, not two, but three. <coughs> yeah. Yeah? Winners? I think. Don't I we? Think, I think, I think. Okay, take it away, Deborah. La, a little later, I think. Yeah, later or now? Yeah, later no, or now? No, 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 no. I will wait for that because okay. first I want to take with you the homework one more time. Mm. Yes, because we have some homework for this beautiful art, and which is your assignment. Use one of the shown techni techniques of this evening to make your own set of nails or color pops, and will be five. And make a beautiful set and make it clean and tough and rough like Jessica is. Well, you know, <laughs> just make it cool, okay? And we know it will be awesome what you're going to show us. And then, of course, there are some rules to get it. You have two weeks to upload your homework, and the deadline is the 14th of February, which is on a Valentine's Day. So upload your homework using the link that you can find in the album Gel Polish Art Basics. And if something needs some improvement, Jessica Padberg will contact you and you will get another chance to participate, of course. We're not throwing you out immediately. Ha, no, of course, you get a lot of chances. And then do not forget to submit your step-by-step -step and not more than four photos together, of course. And one final photo showing with your complete homework set. So one hand with the complete end result. So we can see which is really clean and nice. So that will be awesome. And then there will be something else awesome. The prize, which you can win, is the uh, 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 amazing summer collection. The summer cocktails are, well, well, more popular, 
colors aren't there, right, Jess? No. I agree. Wow. I love this collection yeah. and I love the pop art <coughs> collection. Yeah, it's just, just I love all collections, of course. Yeah, true. But this is but wow, 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 wow. A little bit, yeah. Okay, but wow. then we have one and then it's done, okay? But cool. No, it's not done because we have so much more. Next month we have something else, which is, of course, 20% discount on our power gel, which is next month. Uh, next next month, I sometimes my voice makes a little hiccup. But of course, we have one short amount of time, another 20% discount, which is on our gel polish collection. And this is until the end of tonight, 12 o'clock, and then it stops and we continue with our power gel. And then we don't stop, of course, with all we're doing because we have some more workshops for you. The upcoming month will show us the 7th February, Harriet, and she's doing her Insta Famous. So do you want to get into more doing social media? Don't forget to watch because it will be really very nice. Then a week later, the 14th of February, will be Power Gel by Sarisa Klein. We're just going to do a baby boom nail on Valentine's Day. Ooh, what will that be? We're going a little bit further to the 21st of February, Natalia Gritsenko is going to show us a very difficult name, a power gel elegance nail inlay. Well, I'm curious about that because everything that stands there, I think, hmm, cool. One week later, the 28th of February will be Demi Arts with her refill baby boom and reshaping. So that will be a refill of a baby boom nail and a complete new part. So actually an old nail becoming new. So that's cool. I'm really curious about that. Well, I have to check a little bit. Well, I think we already have a lot. Should we do some summer, something nice? I think we have to show the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful summer cocktail collection commercial. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I was already on a tropical island with a cocktail in my hand. Me ah. too. Yeah, I know. We were there <laughs> very well. So I'm so sorry. We were there together. I'm completely tripping over my words. Well, I have to continue with you, Jess, because I'm already into this summer feeling. What do you have next for us? Well, maybe you just need a cocktail. Ah, <laughs> you think? Maybe that is it. Um, well, I have another design. And one of the questions uh, in the comments I saw was from somebody. Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot... Um, I don't remember your name, but the question was, uh, is an easy cartoon um, as well uh, prohibited as assignments uh, to um, uh, give as a homework? Um, yeah, because I am showing an easy cartoon. So yeah, it's one of the techniques. Uh, you may, um, well, let me see an easy cartoon. Really cool. So cartoons are maybe a little bit difficult uh, because there are, um, well, kind of like the show that I did on Monday, I did a cartoonish geisha uh, with really uh, details and really um, shad shadowing, highlighting. But you can start easy by uh, just using your gel polish and creating uh, segments of like this monkey I'm going to Yeah, make. it's going to be so cool. Yeah. It's really cool, nice, maybe a little bit childish, but I love to um, uh, work big. 
And well, next to black, it's badass. So I really love that the monkey is hanging upside down because it's a crazy monkey. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Uh, the colors that I'm working uh, uh, with for this monkey is the beige blue, um, the beautiful um, uh, brown, darker brown, always forget his name, midnight brown. Oh, yeah. Uh, for um, its fur. But the midnight brown is a little bit too black. So again, I'm just mixing colors together. So the beige bloom into the um, uh, beautiful brown color, midnight brown. Um, and then just a little bit of the light, the elegant pink that I've already used um, um, further away in a few of my designs. And of course, next to that beautiful monkey, a bright color. And again, you are hot. All right. So for the first step, I am making on my color pop um, the beige bloom. Mm -hmm. I'm just going in my base and top uh, with my Jessica's Choice. Why? Because I need to remove my pigments, <coughs> my green pigments from my brush. Maybe interesting for you guys to see how I do that. A clear drop of base and top, really important, doesn't have to be base and top, but a clear drop of gel. And then my Jessica's Choice, not go like this because of the hairs, you need to may it give love to the hairs of course so just pumping your excessive pigments and of course i did this already uh, off screen but you see over here there's a little bit of green and then really important take your brush wipe a clean one yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. your brush wipe and like this roll it back to its point again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really important. To make it sharp again, To right? treat, yeah, yeah, but to treat your brushes. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, with love. Yeah, with and lots of love. And especially Jessica's choice. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. So for the first, my monkey is hanging upside down. So I am going to put my tip upside down. So you can paint it in a straight way, right? Yeah. Uh, for my first, I'm going to <laughs> give a kiss <laughs> and make a circle like this. Um, you see that my uh, surface is buffed, um, as you already have seen that I prepare my tips um, in front, so back home. So this is not really how I am um, working on to the other tips but you will see later on just adding a little two kisses <laughs> and pulling it back to that line now i am creating a v it's still easy right jess this is it okay so a little bit curl a little bit curved a curved mm -hmm. line mm -hmm. a v and now fill it up Completely? Completely. Okay. This is going to be the face of my monkey. I am now always looking and checking into the lights of my table. Um, now in the studios we have cameras. So I always do this before I cure. To see that everything is nice and smooth, nice and even. Because otherwise you get curing problems, of course. Huh? If you see that it's not really um, covering, of course, you could add an extra layer because gel polishes is already um, on the nails in two layers. Huh? All right, then we cure 30 seconds. And do not let your tip fall. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> upside down. That upside always down. happens to me when I put it in the LED. <laughs> and, <coughs> Oops, and then it's flipped over and I'm thinking, sure. <laughs> That's so nice. No, that is really not nice. Then you have to start all over again. Cindy said, we nail techs are quite the kissing bunch. Like a kiss here and a kiss there. We, oh, we kiss, love kiss a lot. We <coughs> have a lot of love in yeah. us. That's why. Yeah. A kiss on the nail to give that huh? apex. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again. So now we are mixing. Huh? 
So I do not like to mix with the brushes, with the hairs, because we love those hairs and we love those brushes. Use a tool that you can clean better. So for instance, I now have a dotting tool over here, but you could use a spatula, whatever you like. So giving that midnight brown and just seeing what color it gives. I'm searching for a lighter brown but of course darker than its face. Mm -hmm. I like this. So you can remove and clean your uh, dotting tool and my brush gets filled with that mixture. Okay, again we are going to kiss. Remove excessive and we are going to paint around and just pulling from that bigger drop, mm -hmm. filling it in. I am right handed so I just need to, otherwise I will go in front of, in front of the camera yeah. and you won't see a thing. Nope. And then I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that it's a little bit shiny. No, you I can see it can very well, see it well, sweetheart. No, you can see it very good. Very okay, good. Okay, okay. So I really love to add a little bit of extra. So my monkey has a little <coughs> bit, a little hair. So I'm just pulling with the tip of my brush. I can see it already now. Yeah? Yeah. And because this um, beautiful mixture is not cured yet, I can use this mixture to pull an ear out. Oh. Yeah, you have enough product on the near, on the near right? Mm hmm Ah. Uh. And let's give another ear to the other side as well. Of course, this ear needs to be on the same, huh? So I'm pulling a line and pulling another line. Oh, so we have a monkey! <laughs> so if you have a client, yeah, and mm -hmm. you paint this on her nails, how would you paint it for your client? Upside down or yeah. upside down to the viewer? What would you do, Jess? Uh, my client would sit like this. Yeah. Yeah, if I need to be over there because I'm right-handed. Mm -hmm. um, or, <coughs> or like this, yeah. Yeah. So she can do but this better. But you give better. your client an upside down monkey or the viewer of her nails? No, the clients uh, has um, upside down. The monkey. viewers have an upside down monkey mm -hmm. because yeah. my monkey is in the cuticle area on purpose because a monkey is crazy. That's why. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was so curious about that. All right. I'm now going into that drop of base on top again. Dapping excessive pigments from that mixture out of the hairs of my brush. So for the ears, um, you can use, of course, uh, that beautiful light color, uh, the elegant pink. But for the outside, the you are hot, really cool. And fill the space. Like all the way around. Of course, gel polish, when it's not cured, it's, it tends to run a bit. So I would recommend just to do this in segments. So if you are really happy with this segment of pink, cure. Yeah, I love it. Then do this segment mm -hmm. and then do that segment. Yeah. But you can do it all at once, right? Of course you can <coughs> do it all in once. Um, but you need to work fast. So that's yeah. why. Okay, so already cured, already <laughs> finished for you guys, and prepare this at home, of course. So the ears are left without color. So that little bit of light pink, a little bit. Yeah, is this the cosmopolitan? No, the light, uh, the elegant pink. Elegant, elegant pink. pink. Okay. And just fill up this space, and I will do the same on the other side. And I will check into the lights of my uh, cameras, into the uh, table lights, if it's 
it nice and even and not too high and really pulls to the borders of the ear. Oh, everyone likes it. This yeah. monkey is so cute. I love it. They already uh, see a monkey. Yeah? Says, yes, of course. That is cool to hear. <coughs> really cool. All right. So now my ears are really um, curing because I'm working on this monkey um, to do all the other steps. So normally I love to make my outlines with liner gel, pure liner gel black, or mix it with cities and sweeties um, to make your lines a little bit more flowing, fluid. Um, but of course you can use gel polish uh, for your outlines as well. Um, but it tends to run. And it's not as pigmented as liner gel black is. But you can use it, and I will show you. All right. Of course, we are working in different heights because you have a height, and over here it stops. There's a line, and that line in between the beige bloom and the UR heart, you can follow with your gel polish black as black. You, yeah, you see the lines? Yeah. You can see the thickness. You can see that <coughs> it's all kind of like a, a sketch that you can follow. So it's more easy for you. And you do not have to make all of the line in ones. You can do just one segment. Mm -hmm. Whatever works and whatever makes it easier for you. Yeah, and your brush will follow those lines, right? Yes, I will show it's you. It's really easy. So again, black is black. Yeah. So I am not wearing my glasses. <laughs> But I hope I am doing it correctly. <laughs> so I'm following this line. And just putting the tip of that brush very outside the beginning of my hair in those two colors. Hey, you're not working very thin now, right? No. It's an easy cartoon. <laughs> Yeah, but the easiest to follow those lines, so it's really nice. So normally, if this was, uh, was liner gel, I would go on and on with my lines. But again, gel polish uh, runs, so I'm just creating, fixing maybe some lines. Sorry, you guys. I'm really hanging over my lines No, now. no, we can see it. And just curing this. Not 10 seconds because of the uh, highly pigmented um, gel polish, 30 seconds at the least. And then go on uh, to the other lines. Of course, I'm sharpening my brush again, filling and giving some color on the hairs, waiting for the 30 seconds. Yeah, then it really takes a long time. It takes a long time. Gosh. But then, in this way, your lines stay thin. Otherwise, uh, your lines will be get wider and wider, and we don't like bigger lines. I like bold lines, but I do not like big lines. All right, let's go to the next. Center. Hmm, Joanna says, this is the time to paint on the other nail. Well, that's very true. Yeah, that's true, Joanna. Thank you. That is really true. And you can use that time then, huh? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. It's also nice to put a little piece of the tail on the other finger or something, you know? Or like, I a, did. A, like a little paw. You yeah, did. I did. I will show you. Oh. I will show you. Yeah, because of that funny curly tail. Yeah. And <coughs> I love, always love uh, cartoons or designs, whatever, on two nails of the five. I do not like one. I love two. So that's why I thought of, okay, I can add a little uh, monkey, maybe a girl monkey, mm -hmm. or, yeah, I did the uh, tail. Oh, then I had the same idea. Yeah, but that's why we are girlfriends. Yeah, I think oh. so. We th think each other. Yeah, yeah we like each we other. Do. <laughs> mm, we do. We do. We do. Okay. Okay, okay. For the eyes, of course, again. Normally, I would use the liner gel, but hey, you can use gel polish as well. 30 seconds and a dotting tool. Of course, you can use um, 
a detail three or yes it costs choice or whatever you like but yeah this is easy to make spots and dots so yeah let's use it and make uh, life easier and faster for you so big eyes maybe on top big eyes like this and the other one like that so they are not straight a little bit going one way and going the other way of course you can cure this or just add that little nosy in between too Sabine is asking, can we mix gel polish black is black with the gemstone gel? Yes. Yes, you can. Um, um, if you want to make a really black black, um, I would add not gel polish, but I would add color concentrates black. Um, because otherwise, if you have um, the same color black with gel polish, your gemstone gel will be a little bit too fluid, I believe. Yeah. It depends what kind of color do you like. What do you like? True. What do you want, Sabine? <laughs> <laughs> well, stop. Don't ask, because then it will fill the whole timeline. <laughs> 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 it will be so much, Sabine. It was no, this is a joke. But of course, what she says, it will be too thin if you take it both. So, yeah, mm -hmm. true. All right, all right, all right. So cute. It's already so cute, yeah. Eh? It is. So now this is the only time that I'm going to use my Detailer 3. That is not really often. Normally I use my Detailer 3 more. All the time, yeah. All the time, yeah. Likewise. Mm, let me see. The um, elegant pink, the light pink that I've used for the ears, mm -hmm. I'm going to add a little drop into my base and top. Why? Because I want to make cheeks, but soft cheeks. Little rosy. Little rosy. So we do not uh, we do not want them as harsh as that color in the ear is, but the same, ton sur ton. Hein? And just with my detailer three, I'm adding a little rosy cheeks. A lot of French talking this evening, right? Yeah. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I love France. And then cure. So the only thing um, that is missing is the big smile. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to add a little bit more black is black because I'm finished over here. To make that smile. And of course, inside <coughs> the ears. The pink really let it pop out, you know. Yeah. So cool. Ah. Let's put it upside down again. And we need that cheek uh, underneath my line, of course. It's more difficult to do it the other way around. So now we are going to try to give a little kiss and to give from one side in a straight position a little bit more in a curve going up. Yeah. And we're going to use that line to pull with the tip of my brush and just sketch to the other cheek. You could have even though left it on the one side and it looks like he's like, mm, you know? Yeah. <laughs> laughing at one side, you know. Like this. Ah, it's so funny. I love it. So, inside of the ears, of course, the lines and then some highlights. And the highlights in the eyes, um, I really love to make with a mixture of Lina Gel White and Cerisa Sweeties White, coconut, um, to each other uh, to give a more fluid white, but highly pigmented white. And then you have the end result when it is captured, capped <coughs> with extreme mud. Ah. Just the other way around to see, let you all see. We could have seen it. Yeah. Already could have seen it. It was so and cool. And I really love... Next to this. Oh, my nah. God. I didn't even knew it. Great minds oh, think alike, geez. Deborah. Really? 
and just let me show you how it looks with the with shiny. Black. <laughs> with black. With <laughs> black next to it. <laughs> Don't you just love it? I love it. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time for a screenshot, girls. We definitely have to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's count down. Yeah. In three, three two, two, one. Screenshot. And of course, I've made little friends for this little monkey. A little oh, foxy. They're so cool. I will remove its tail. You know, next time you what you need to paint also as a cartoonish. Hmm? A raigi. <gasps> yeah, your little bird. Well yeah. Little, yeah. Well, yeah. Make it little. Well, there is a cartoon on a jacket that I've made for you, Deborah. Yeah, with the I know. That's, That's why a I'm cartoon raigi. Yeah. So cool on this one. Too. Yeah, it is. Just pops in my mind, you know. Y thank you for the idea. Yeah. Now I cannot sleep. I know. <laughs> you have to do it when you're home tonight. So All right. So cool. Okay, let's do a screenshot. Let's do a screenshot. All right. In three, two, two one. one. Screenshot. Oh. All right, so these they are, are easy so cartoons. funny. Yeah, they are, huh? And really fast salon art. Yeah, absolutely. Really fast. Indeed. The little foxes, it's uh, has its uh, a little bit more work because of the little tongue. Yeah, I love the tongue. But I love this fox because I've made this fox um, back in time. It's from the fox and the hound. Yeah, I love this set as well. Yeah, so um, cool. So. When you want and love cartoons, um, this is maybe the first step to train your hands and train your eye and uh, train with the products that you are working with, of course. And then maybe in time you try to make these kind of designs. Yeah, that's so really cool. You already awesome. see what it is and what character it is, but not too difficult because they're not really extra details. Just the well body, just actually, only right? The mm? body of the painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No just lips and, uh, of course, uh, um, little eyelids. But you can even work like this. Yeah, and but just it's the cool. eyebrows, a lip, and that's it. Sort of a footprint. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Again, my foxy. I love my foxy. Yeah. yeah. So this is more detailed, but when you work and you train your hand, you can do this. Believe me, but you need to train. <laughs> Sabine says they look easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is a step up, eh? <coughs> so Sabine, so you start with this step one, and then work your way maybe to that. Well, what's the part between easy and difficult? <laughs> <laughs> there is no part. No, there's no stop. So I really love to make ah, these kind of little. But so these are kind of similar, as this, uh, <laughs> but tinier, so more difficult. But really love to make these designs. <coughs> you have to do those next time. Yeah. So cool. Well, there is a demo from one of these guys. I believe the panda uh, on the Dutch uh, Nail Talk Live. Yeah, that's quite a while ago. Quite a, b a couple of years, I believe. Yeah, but so it, it is still there. I know, it sweetheart. Is still there, yeah. But sometimes we have to bring the old back again, you know? We should. Yeah. All right. <coughs> I have just one uh, design left, but I know that Deborah yes. uh, needs to share something with you. Yeah. So, um, well, let's go back to Deborah. Yes, because I have to tell you something very important about two weeks ago when there was our dear Milena. And she had, well, <coughs> I have to get it from here. She has also had, of course, a beautiful homework assignment, and there was perform, perform the refill of the gel polish nails as shown by Milan using a difficult color. Well, what is a difficult color? Of course, all the darker pigmented colors, which can be quite difficult indeed to apply on those nails, especially when you do it on a set, uh, on a set of nails on the hand. It's more difficult than on color pops, of course. <coughs> but before, I'm going to tell you who those winners are i have to get something to you because she said i have to read it and then i will come back to you she said thank you so much for participating all so many entries so much inspiration um to myself and your beautiful work you made it very difficult for me to choose three winners i know thanks again for your beautiful entries 
For the first one, she says, this is Milana, her own words. That's a tight lacquer with quite a tricky color. Nice application at the cuticles and beautiful art. Very nice, good selling set of nails. I love it with three exception marks. Who is it? Well, our first winner is Met Marika Kalam. Wow, that is beautiful. Beautiful, huh? Amazing. I love <coughs> this. Same, same. And that the double drop in the nails, mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful set, Met Marika. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Sorry, I was mesmerized <laughs> into, the, into the screen because I have the big screen next to the smaller screen. So that's why I'm looking, whoa, really nice. But of course, we have another winner. And now for this winner, Milana says, super cute, the aqua colors. Super quick set and in combination with the gold and foil, very cheerful design. Nicely painted with a difficult color. Um, and it, which is white, is often a nightmare for most nail stylists. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Heidi Varving. Wow, this is really That's cool. That's a creative picture. Very creative, agree? yeah. Cool, huh? With Normally we would say our table towel is quite dirty, but yeah. this is amazing. <coughs> it really fits well. Ton. <laughs> again, again, again. Yeah, great combination, beautiful picture. I love it. Nicely done. And congratulations, Heidi. Really nice. And then we have our last, for this evening, winner, which Milena says about, what a cheerful set of nails. Makes you totally happy, nicely painted, nice application on relatively a short nail. Nice set of cellar nails with fun art, so your price treatment can really go up. Which is true, and I'm talking about a Micah Hammond. Wow. Beautiful, love the color. So nice and so poppy, yeah. Poof, yeah, really. Well, it comes into your face. Yeah, <coughs> this is so cool and awesome. Well, my dear ladies, congratulations! And what did you win? Because oh my God, what a great prize! A beautiful foil set, a uh, broke but happy color, the Mont Blanc Blue. Oh, great name! The perfect polisher. Uh, 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 it's, it's a lot. Which is a liner color gel. We have well the paper palette. Oh, actually, too much to mention. Actually, it's what a great prize, yes, right? Yeah, I agree. Wow, Milena, thank you for this prize. I think the people will love it. Oh, so cool. Um, shall we do uh, one more time a little bit of homework? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because <coughs> you have a beautiful assignment too, which people can win something with. And your homework assignment is use one of the shown techniques to make your own set of nails or color pops, which has to be five in total. And then there are some rules for this one, which mean you have two weeks to upload your homework. The deadline is on the 14th of February. Upload your homework using the link that you can find in the album Gel Polish Art Basics. And if something needs some improvement, Jessica will contact you and you will get another chance to participate. Don't forget to submit your step-by-step, -step, not more than four pictures together. <coughs> and um, one final picture showing all of your homework. So that's really important. The step-by-steps, you don't need to put the pictures of the products, but you do need the pictures of the step-by-step and then one of the end results together. So that will be awesome because you can win something awesome, which is this. And this is the summer cocktail collection. These colors are like, oh, they scream happiness. And they are. And you can use it in every design you want. So, wow, great, 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 great. And then until tonight, 12 o'clock, you have still the time to buy your gel polishes with a 20% discount, which is really, 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 really cool. But the last hours of today, because tomorrow, starting from 12 o'clock this evening, we have another product, product with 20% discount, and this is our power gel, which you can continue to buy with this discount for the rest of the month of February, which is very cool, actually, because power gel is also such an amazing product. Yeah, it is. It really is. And then for the next month, we have also upcoming yeah, workshops. Let's have a look. So cool. So cool. And the first one is from Henriette, and she's going to do her Insta Famous. So I'm very curious about this one. It's going to be an awesome one, I think. She's going to take us into her, well, well social media tricks. Well, I'm curious. A week later, on the 14th of February, 
So Risa Klein is going to show us a power gel <coughs> baby boom nail. And I think Sarisa knowing she's going to do it with all five colors. It will be very cool. Will very cool. Then a week later, the 21st of February, Natalia Grisenko is going to do a power gel elegance nail inlay. I think this well, I know Natalia, I know her nails, and both together is oh, 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 awesome. Awesome. Uh, I can't wait. Can you wait, Jess? No, we can't wait. No. So just <laughs> the trainer of trainers. We you need know? to see that. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. And then we also need to see a week later, the 28th of February, Demi Arts, and she's going to do a refill baby boom and the reshaping of the nail. So bring an older set back to a new set after maybe a month, three weeks, I don't know, but she's going to show us all. Don't forget to watch. It's going to be amazing. Well, it was a complete mouthful to be exact. Then... I have to go back to you, my dear Jesse. Yeah, because I'm waiting, really, waiting, really anxious uh, to let you guys see the last design. So I've already given a big kiss to my tip to make this kiss into the head of my geisha, the last design of the show. And my geisha is. Um, well, not as detailed as the geisha that I've shown uh, last Monday. Well, people can see that still on uh, YouTube, right? Yeah, and of course, on, on my stories, I think she is still really shining there. Um, but this geisha, um, definitely on my stories. Because sometimes you do not have the time to make uh, that Completely beautiful, detailed, detailed yeah. uh, geisha. So <coughs> now... An oval, kind of like an egg shape, mm -hmm. maybe. And now pulling products out of that oval, of that egg, to create the neck. The neck comes out of the egg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a really good tip for me to you guys, work big to make it easier for you. The smaller you work, the more difficult it is, the less uh, the outside world will see what you have made. Okay, and now this is really strange, but my um, geisha is uh, wearing, of course, hair, but segments of hair. So I am pulling little lines, uh, lines in a curve to give, how do you say the... Mm, how do you say it in uh, English? I don't know what you mean. What? what? Hoofdhout. The head, the, the, the skin of your head, yeah. on top of your head. Mm. I don't know how you well say it. Well, like English. this? The skin of your head. <laughs> the skin of your yeah. head. Which you <coughs> see. <coughs> yeah, the top <laughs> of your head. With the yeah. hair. <laughs> 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 I will show you. Okay, okay, okay. So, this is already cured. And now I know what people mean when they see us doing things and they think, what, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, three segments. Three segments. So this is the first. <laughs> you want to yes. this is a devil geisha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a devil geisha. Yeah, <laughs> she kind of looks a little <laughs> bit like, um, how is she called? That's the favorite character of uh, Pepin. Um, oh, yeah, you mean one. the... This one. She kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, like exactly. I don't know her name. I know I her name when you say it, but I, I can't get into it right now. Okay, a little bit over her head. Of course. Ooh. I see. Lit my dotting tool. Three segments. And another. I see that my gel polish is a little bit over her head. So I need to remove that before curing. Hmm. And I will do this off with my <coughs> point of my nail plate. Uh -huh. Scary. Ah, I'm a daredevil. <laughs> okay. We know. So, Maleficent. Yes. Maleficent. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thank Elvira. You. Yeah. Thank you. I <coughs> love Maleficent, so that's why, maybe. Um, yeah. 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 But yeah. <laughs> You're drawing <laughs> it even without knowing. 
Yeah, exactly. You just so pop it out. <laughs> uh, I have prepared a product list for you guys, uh, but this was not on the product list. The only product, um, the Glass Polish Brown and uh, Maze Choice 2021. Because when I have made the product list, I didn't know that I was would add this ge geisha. Because I really love um, uh, to let you see the basic, like I did tonight. Um, but then the basic geisha and the advanced geisha for Monday. So you can see uh, the difference in between. So this is just an add-on uh, to... Uh, the things that I was going to show you. Mm -hmm. Curious. Oh, okay. it was a scalp, of course. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> yeah, duh. But sometimes we're standing right here. It's like when you're doing a quiz, when you're sitting on your couch, you think, I know all the answers. But when you're in the show, Thank you think you so much. Much. Yeah. That's really sometimes how it goes when you're here. And that is oh, also because we are together, because sometimes yeah. we just forget words. Yeah. Like crushed opals. Yeah. But we know crushed opals now. Yeah, and but then we call it something I'm else. I'm not working with crushed opals. No, but you have to mention it. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So, a little bit of shading giving to this beautiful geisha. And I am just adding, and I love to oh, so cool. work with, uh, <coughs> yeah, of course, the red. Uh, Mace Joyce, beautiful color. Again, one of my favorites. And the gla glass brown. And I'm just giving her a line, a contour for her face. Uh, onto the scalp. Thank you, Camilla. <laughs> 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 but now it's more, yeah, a little bit realistic. And of course, her neck. Yeah. Always from one side, right? Yeah. Yeah, and always a little bit darker because her head is over. And I'm now just giving lines. Of course, you can um, blend that out and make it softer or work more fast. Yeah. So that's why I'm just adding some lines. All right. Curing. Cool. So you're not blending? No. But you could. I'm not blending <coughs> now. Okay, now just some outlines. Again, this is an add-on um, uh, for my designs that I've prepared for you uh, guys. So I am going to my liner gel because I love liner gel and my lines will be and stay thin. Uh, liner gel black, where are you? Just a teeny tiny bit. Of course, you can mix liner gel black with Cerisa Sweeties, whatever you like. And again, I'm just adding... Not over, not all the way around, but just adding a few lines and pulling again as we did with the monkey. From the homework, yes. Do you want to see all techniques that you do this evening? No. Or you just two? You can pick one. Or pick one, okay. Yes. So you can pick everything you've seen this evening? Yes. All right. You can even make the geisha or just the sugar design yeah. or the neon pigments. Yeah, I would definitely go for the neon pigments. Yeah, I would do too. Yeah. I'm just adding one extra line over here. And now I am going to give a little kiss with the tip of my brush to create um, her eyebrow. I was searching for the word. A little kiss. That was also and pull it similar up. again. Yeah, pull it up. Okay, so liner gel is really a nice product because it stays in place. And I can work on, I can work further. I am taking a tinier uh, dotting tool, the master, how do you call it? The tinier dotting tool that we yeah, have. Yeah, the smaller one. The smaller one. And I am giving, with the tip, two tiny dot skis next to each other. For the mouth, for the <laughs> lips. I already one can see ski. it. Yeah, I can already see it. One dot ski in between. Don't make the words too strange for Gillian. No. But we call them dot skis. The little dots... <laughs> on top of a design, or in this case, in the design. I'm just 
going in between those little dots to make that a little mouth. Gives also a little bit of a similar mouth like Jessica Rabbit's uh, design you did a little while ago. You know what I mean, Jess? Yeah. The similar thick lips. Like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the cheeky ones. All right. All we need is a little bit of extra line in between those dots to make the lip <coughs> more like a lip. Like in the center. And I'm just, without my glasses, looking where I need to make the line. Oh yeah, now I can see more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the show, Jessica decides to, to wear, wear glasses. the glasses. <laughs> I hope it was okay, you guys. I didn't see anything that I made, no. Okay, okay. So now I'm just adding one dot over here. So this is the center of my um, line and those geishas always have like um, little necklaces, mm -hmm. those nice thin I need a little bit more liner gel. Um, thin little dots over here. And I'm pulling from those dots to that first line. And then your geisha is done. Beautiful. Sophisticated. Yeah, really. And if you want to see how it is, um, how I have made it in a set, uh, go to my social, um, Instagram on the stories, or scroll back because it's an old set. Um, of course, of course, uh, May's Choice 2021 and Black is Black next to it. So what is your social? Can you add your card maybe awesome. in the screen? Oh yes, if you do not follow me, please do. These are my um, my names on the socials. Yeah. So let's do a screenshot in three, two, two <laughs> one. one. Screenshot. I would add the geish the geisha. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, she's really. Yeah, that also gives me the feeling of ding 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. ding <you> know? <laughs> Immediately when I see her. <laughs> Look how it pops. Also next with to the black. black. Yeah, I only you have black won't here. Say, so. huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, maybe a screenshot from uh, this beautiful yeah. little girl too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Right. Countdown. Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All righty. This is what it is. Oh my dear. How cool. Yeah. Yeah. You like it? No, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> It's really cool. Oh, and this was already your last design for this evening, yes. Do you want to see all uh, of the designs together, maybe? Please, no? please, please. Yeah? Tell me if I have to do some zooming. Maybe, I don't know. All together. <sighs> okay, maybe like this. Oh, like this. Mm. Nadja says, wow, black next to it. That's new. Yeah, that's new. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah. Nadja. Yeah. I didn't have any colors with. No, that's <laughs> strange. You haven't. Okay. Sugar design. Oh, yeah, and the combat design. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, shall, shall I Shall I do it like this? What do you think, Deborah? Um, yeah, that's also cool because it doesn't matter if you turn it upside down, these designs. Yeah, exactly. So maybe... Just to fill these up. And then the two pinky ones. Okay. Take your moments. Three, two, two one. one. Screenshot. How awesome. Ah, thank you. So cool, so cool, so cool. All right. All right. Well. Gilly. 
And this is awesome. I mean, thank you, Jessica. How did you manage to do all these designs in such a short amount of time? I do not know. Oh, I'm curious. Oh, sorry. No, <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> well, preparing and practice <laughs> makes perfect. Yeah, of course. that's very true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you have a special brush, which is called Jessica's Choice, which uh -huh. is also very perfect to work with, of course. And well, I think we have to go back to you, Jess, maybe because you want to say something. Yeah, I was looking. <laughs> 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 it's not that I'm not really like bored here, no, well. but I'm looking <laughs> at the comments. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, okay. Um, I hope, I think, what I see and what I read uh, is that you loved uh, tonight and to see all of the designs. Uh, I am glad um, that I could um, yeah, make fun with you. And I am really thankful that you are all watching and, of <coughs> course, hope to see loads and loads and loads of your beautiful homework um, in two weeks. And I will have fun. I know right now already I will have fun just seeing and looking and being in awe and seeing all of the gr great uh, amazing things that you have created for me and uh, our team, of course. So um, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you have any questions in between, please do not hesitate to uh, send me a message, uh, DM or whatever. Um, I'm happy to help because that's what I'm here for. Um, thank you all again. I wish you a great evening. Thank you, Deborah, of course, and Gillian uh, for helping me. And um, I wish you much love. And I hope to see you again soon. So big kiss for me. Bye-bye. <coughs> well, thank you very much, Jessica. That was a really amazing show. And what, um, well, what an amazing designs that you showed us. Not even the ones you didn't make, but the ones you made was like, oh, it was amazing. Thank you so much for your participation this evening again, of course. And if you want to know something about Magnetic, you can always go to info at magneticnildesign.com if you want to become a distributor or whatever question you have, of course, you can ask us everything. Everything, everything. Don't hesitate and send your email to info at magneticnildesign.com. So that rests me for this evening and I want to say thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you, Jessica, for doing a great show with uh, lots of demos. Thank you, Gillian, for the, well, everything you do, of course, because it's a lot. Yes. And I want to say thank you for watching. And I see you next week. And see you at Nail Talk Live. Bye-bye. <laughs>